Elizabeth Caledonia Calamity Ash. Born into a life of money and privilege, Ash was nonetheless neglected by her parents and mostly raised by the family's omnic butler, Bob. She began her criminal career as a teen with her parents' money bailing her out of trouble time and time again. During the omnic crisis, Bob mysteriously disappeared. He returned after the war, but he was different. He was sentient. As a teen, Ash got into a fight with some classmates ultimately leading her to go to jail yet again. This time, however, she befriended Cole Cassidy. After getting bailed out one last time and disinherited by her parents, Ash decided to form a new family, the Deadlock Gang. Ash actually committed her first heist with Cassidy and Bob by her side. Ash and the Deadlock Gang carried out dozens of flawless heists over the years on her parents' company, Arbalist Arms, just to get revenge. She's a rebellious gunslinger and a calculating leader who's not afraid to get her hands dirty. All right, let's take a look at some of Ash's abilities. She's actually a very straightforward character. We want to play her about mid-range because she does have damage fall off even on her headshots. Let's see if we can show that. Yeah, see that? That's full damage on that headshot. And we're starting to get some fall off damage here. So you are going to be scoping in quite a lot, but don't make the mistake of thinking you're a dedicated sniper. You still need to be somewhat close to your enemies for full effect of damage. As far as her primary fire goes, she has a much less lethal, but much quicker non-scoped left click. If we zoom in, you'll notice our bullets are gonna hit really hard, but our fire rate also gets hit really hard. Generally speaking, if you can scope in on Ash, you should be trying to do that. However, if an enemy is low and you can get some quick headshots in to seal the deal, by all means do that. One unique part of this weapon though is the reload mechanic. So very rarely do you want to shoot all of your shots and then reload like this. Get a kill, do some damage, find a break, and then reload some ammunition. Otherwise, you're going to be idle for quite a long time. That goes along with Ash's passive. Eliminations grant a burst of increased movement speed and reload speed. So let's, let's see a full side-by-side -side here. This is without a kill. This is with a kill. Significantly faster reload. We'll talk about Ash's shift next. This is her knockback ability. This is how Ash survives a lot of aggression. If an enemy Winston jumps on top of you, this is how you get away. It's not really there for its damage, although as you can see up close, it packs a decent punch. What we're really using it for is the safety that it provides. But it doesn't just knock enemies away. It can also propel us up into the air so we can reach higher places. And on a character like this, you're gonna want to be on the high ground very, very often. This is where you're the safest. Our E ability throws a bundle of dynamite towards an enemy, and after a while, this will detonate, not only dealing impact damage, but also damage over time to an area. You can detonate this early just by shooting the pack of TNT. And yes, that does do damage to you. This burning effect that's left behind is actually one of the better ways to build your ultimate on Ash up. So you're gonna wanna be using your dynamite as often as possible. One easy trick to remember with the dynamite is that it will always pass over your crosshair when you throw it. So if you wanna detonate this mid air, you don't actually have to move your crosshair to make that happen. Simply shoot when it's in the desired location. Now that will take a little bit of learning. You will have to kind of space out, you know, when is when is the TNT gonna be exactly where I need it to be? But it's a lot easier than trying to find it midair and look, oh, there it is. Last but not least, we have our Omnic Butler, Bob. When we pick an area for Bob to travel through, he's gonna knock our adversaries up in the air so he can theoretically get some easy headshots. Then for the rest of his duration, Bob is gonna to sit here and unload every bullet he has on any would-be trespassers before he jumps back off into the unknown. 
Bob does have a set duration, but he also has a health bar as well. If your adversaries decide to shoot Bob down, you may lose him a little bit sooner than expected. Because of that, sometimes the best thing you can do to get a high value Bob is not send him directly at your enemies, but set him up high in a place they'll have to look to find him. And he can rain down terror from above on all of your foes. That's right, robot. You can't line of sight, Bob. I think that's everything you need to know. If I missed anything, be sure to let me know in the comments. And let's jump in today's match for the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we found ourselves on Nepal today. This is a control point map, so we are attacking, but so is the other enemy team. First to win two objectives wins the game. Looks like our friendly team to start things off is going to be Reinhardt, Ash being played by me, May, Lucio, and Mercy. We don't know what the enemy team is yet, but I'm feeling pretty confident. There's actually a lot of high ground on this map. There's actually a lot of high ground on this map, no matter which objective we are on. So I'll do my best to play around that as much as I can using our shotgun to get a little more distance. Lucio speed boosting our entire team forward means we are going to be on this point fast. And it looks like an enemy tracer is trying to contest my high ground. So for the time being, we're going to play back a little bit. Good shots into May there. And if tracer comes around this corner, we're literally just going to backpedal away to our team for safety. Solve that problem nice and tidy. That is such a small hit box it can be incredibly hard to hit but i think i convinced her yes i did to go the other way for at least a brief moment grab this health pack i'm gonna have to get on point pretty fast she'll be back to finish the job uh we do take down the enemy team's reinhardt let's get some fire around this corner so kiriko takes some damage as she's running away and it looks like the friendly team for the time being is in control of this objective now i still want to play here if i can these shots are going to be difficult may walls make it even more difficult looks like a couple members of the enemy team did decide to give up on the first point you hate to see that uh explosion on kiriko she's going to be able to teleport away but doesn't do it in time nice rotation by our friendly may to make that kill happen because i wasn't going to get it that's for sure uh we just spotted someone else on the high ground but if i stay here i should be relatively hidden oh never mind we are no longer hidden a torbjorn on the ground let's try to get his turret down really fast there we go back up to my health pack again looks like two members of the friendly team are down make that three members of the friendly team oh almost got brigetta but a shot from kiriko lands square in my forehead so we are going to be forced to respawn. Uh, looks like I just missed the Lucio train as well. That's okay. That's okay. Friendly team was off to a good start. 51% captured on the point so far. Enemy team just getting to 10% now. As our Reinhardt, with his supports at his back, is moving in really aggressively. But the enemy Reinhardt had something to say about that. And so did our May as she closed him off. We go back for a quick kill. And I'm going to rotate over here. We do see a Turbergen Fergen on the high ground. Good damage forces him to use his shielding. As he runs away, the friendly team hopefully can finish him off uh i'm gonna send a bob over to the corner that was a terrible bob i was hoping uh i could get it above that rail all right now here's the thing because that bob was so bad we now need a redemption bob there'll be plenty of time for that don't you worry if anyone moved out of that corner it could have done good damage and we just got rezzed by our mercy it looks like the friendly team is officially pushing the spawn oh my goodness let's say thank you for the res she didn't need to do that that was nice uh, enemy Reinhardt is on the way, arriving with an impact as he takes down our Lucio, grabs him with just the side of that push. Uh, Mercy is on me, keeping me alive. Good Reinhardt ultimate, at least stops their momentum for a moment. We take down to Bergen's turret and then take him down a moment later. Uh, who's that? Brigetta on point. Ah! Oh, there it is. I was worried my shots were going to start failing me there. That's my biggest insecurity when playing characters like this is... I mean, I said it in our very first episode of Overwatch 2. My aim sucks. And when, I, when we secured the A through Z goal for Overwatch 2, that was literally the first thing I started working on. Three weeks of nonstop aim practice. I hope you could tell a difference <laughs> so far.
<laughs> We're moving to the second control point now. This one with very uh, tall high ground on the left side and a control point in the middle. It looks like no team composition changes for us so far. As the team moves forward, I'm actually going to head up here and hug the left side. I don't want to be seen with the team. We want to be hitting from the flank. So if I can do that, that'll be very, very good for me. We're already seeing shots fired down below. So let's try to get a lay of the land. Looks like May is blocking off any would-be attackers for the time being. T Torbjorn is actually flanking with a turret right now, it looks like. Uh, this Reinhardt is taking good damage to the back. Oof. Oh yeah, this is gonna be hard. Uh, backing up, I'm way too far forward here. Let's try to get back onto the high ground. I don't know if we'll be able to get many heals up here, but Torbjorn is gonna have a hard time shooting up this high. He's really gonna have to lead with his shot. You know, it has a lot of drop. Kiriko is a bit of a threat, especially as she's coming around that corner. So let's just try to keep pressure on her. I do need to do a quick reload. I should also, oh God, oh, Torbjorn turret. I should also be throwing uh, my TNT a bit more often and just trying to get that to explode. Great headshot on Hanzo as he moves around the corner. TNT in two seconds. Ah, 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 there it is. Don't you charge me either. Kiriko does land that kunai on me, taking me down. So the friendly team having a bit harder of a time actually getting control of the objective this time. Everyone is pinging when their ults are ready. I'm going to do the same 60% on our Bob. Uh, let's just keep up with the team this time. We'll just push in with them. We do have the Reinhardt shield that we can play behind. They have a lot of shields too, huh? Nice counter ult stops Reinhardt in his tracks. When I saw Brigetta standing up there next to Reinhardt, I got nervous, but the team is doing a great job moving in here so far. Hanzo one shot is taken down and the Molten Core from Torbjorn forces me off the point for a time. We end up taking him down and securing the objective. Actually, it's not secured yet. Oh, let's send Bob there. Hit him in the air while Bob's getting placed. Oh, mercy on me to heal me. Thank you so much. I don't have to fall back. Uh, I'm not sure what Bob is shooting in the corner, but we'll try to get in and deal some damage as well. Great wall stops enemy reinforcements from being able to get back onto the point, and we're just going to shotgun blast away from that Reinhardt charge. I just heard the Torbjorn turret behind me. Let's see if we can kill that. There it is. Mercy healing me back up. Perfect. It looks like Torbjorn's still running wild on the right until we take him down. Hanzo on the side just killed my support. We don't like to see that. And he double jumps away before I can stop him. Okay, now all eyes on middle as they are running back. We can put damage into Brigetta's shield, and it should actually punish her quite a lot. Yes, it does, as our Reinhardt moves in to take her, her down. The enemy Reinhardt falls to a similar fate and we'll just continue to stand on this point give our healer a teleport back in reinhardt unfortunately taken down means a lot of our front line is probably going to collapse here unless mercy can get a res but that might be a little too late it looks like she was trying to go for it our may being taken down by a secret hanzo on the back line that ultimate coming for me that headshot not enough to stop him is it uh, fire on the side. We are mostly falling back at this point because we are so outnumbered, but our Reinhardt does move back on to the objective. I suppose if he's feeling confident, I should feel confident too, but we are going to use our shotgun to get back away from the front line just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna have a while before we can contest again, which is bad news because we probably only have one more push as a team to secure this. If I can just deal some meaningful damage or split some deaths right now, that's gonna be super valuable. Even just hitting that Reinhardt shield means that our team might have an easier job of moving in. Uh, let's see if I can get this TNT right behind this team. Unfortunately, I can't see it from here. Um, we are in overtime and a uh, friendly team is contesting. Oh, Torbjorn turret takes me down immediately as we move on to the point. Will the team be able to push through? Uh, well, nope, nope. I was gonna say it's not over yet, but now it is. All right, here we go. Attacking on the final point. This is for all the shimuppins. The friendly team boosting right down middle. There is high ground once again on the left side that I'm going to try to hold, although it is likely to be significantly more contested. Oh, yeah. 
like just like that just like that soldier 76 on the enemy team that means their torbjorn swapped out the friendly team was having a little pep talk in between rounds that we just need to focus that torbjorn turret down and we'll be living much better so that's not even a problem anymore that's great to see I uh, was not able to shoot that TNT there, unfortunately. We're going to kite away from this Reaper as well towards a health pack to our left. Looks like he has not changed targets as he gets in cl Oh. Burn him. There he goes. Okay. Is he going to flank back in on me? I feel like I'm stuck on this choke at the moment. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, tank is down for the friendly team. We're going to have to play pretty smart. Uh, and we might actually get wrapped around on this high ground here. Have I landed a shot this round? Holy fuck! Um, let's group back up. Uh, we are down one player right now. Our Baptiste was taken from us. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> uh, sending the bomb in. Reaper behind us does connect with that shotgun. Didn't hear him back there. That was a good flank on his part. So enemy objective is at 30%, 30%, 30%. We have respawned. We're joining the team. Some reaffirming shots fired into this guy, just so he knows. However, the rest of our team managed to push forward past the blockade and Reinhardt and May are capturing the point right now. They did an excellent job. So my job is to hold the high ground. We hear someone behind us. Can I finish him? Yes, I can. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Uh, I do need a heal up on the high ground. I hope they realize that soon. And that was a perfect example of what I should be trying to do with this TNT more often, which is just get it behind enemy shields so it does the most damage possible. Uh, big contestion on the right side. I'm trying not to get too close to it. Enemy... Uh, Reaper and Soldier pushing me on the left side to secure the kill. That's also the auto-aim ultimate of Soldier 76 coming out right after he secures that. Friendly team needs to regroup again. This is doable. 40% to 40%. Incredibly close game right now. Uh, we do have a Bob available, though, to retake this point pretty quickly. Reaper on the high ground is kind of intimidating, but he's using his ghost to get away from us already. Uh, I'm pushing with the team because I want Bob to be as effective as possible. So here we go. As he ults, we ult two. Good damage on Kiriko. Takes her down. Bob kills Reinhardt. There's a soldier on this side we kill him too and now we capture the point who's still alive they should have a healer around somewhere a couple healers around somewhere potentially there we go 40 percent the enemy team is going to have another push to move in here we have pings going on up top because the enemy reaper is nearby he has not altered yet we should be very ready to deal with that uh also a soldier on our left. I'm feeling less confident with my positioning with each passing moment. Also, not getting too many heals, I've noticed. I don't know why. There's his ult. I'm just going to try to backpedal. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, we're going to have time for one more push to retake this. For now, we are still in control of the objective, which is really, really good. Uh, Reinhardt is still up there swinging, carrying this game on his back. He's gotten two eliminations on the point, and you can still see that mace just going crazy. Reinhardt's done some incredible damage in this game. <laughs> I think the Lucio speed boost in the early game just allowed him to play so close that it really added up. Uh, I feel like I've been choking in this last round, but it doesn't matter. That's our A through Z for Ash. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope my aim was okay. I tried so hard, dude. I tried so hard. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and let's see this play of the game. Not too shabby. Not too shabby.